Hey, what's going on everyone? So in this video, I'm going to be going over something new that was added from Bethesda into Fallout 76 with the Steel Dawn update that a lot of you probably didn't know about just because it's extremely new in the game. Which for me, I just recently learned about this guy by stumbling upon him during a live stream down the Cranberry Bog. Like, I had no idea this guy was in the game. And then chat was telling me that he's a new random encounter. I was like, what? It went something like that, at least. I was excited. It was something new to me. So, yeah, hopefully this is something interesting and new to you, like it was for me. So let's go ahead and kick this off with some locations where you can find Felton Reed at. Now, keep in mind, you can pretty much find him at every traveling merchant random encounter. You know what I'm saying? Like where a trader can show up at. I believe those random encounters are where you can find Felton Reed at too. But yeah, speaking of finding Felton Reed, let's go ahead and start off with the location of where I first located him at by complete accident, heading over to the Scorch Beast Queen from my camp. Down here, oh, well, would you look what's up? I'll actually be making a in-depth guide over this event in the future, so stay tuned for that if you're curious about Project Paradise. Anyways, the location over where this random encounter can spawn at, one of the locations, is right down here in the Cranberry Bog, kind of by Overgrown Sundew Grove. Anyways, another location where we can find Felts and Reed at, and well, 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 would you look what's up? Oh, never mind. I thought that was a uh, riding shotgun. That is not such a fun event to do. Riding shotgun, however, is a good one. But yeah, another location that we can find Felts and Reed at is located right up here right above the Sacrament uh, Cultus settlement that's up here. Yeah, it's out in the middle of nowhere, up here on the mountains. Oh, and a little tip, if you place your survival tent kind of near the random uh, encounter location, like maybe like right here, you can always spawn on your tent when you spawn in, and then you can just immediately check if, you know, Felton Reed is there, or whatever random encounter you're looking for. It's a pretty handy tip to utilize to save some time. But uh, anyways, from here, another location where Felton Reed can spawn at is up here by Vault 51. You can find him sometimes right here. Yeah, he'll be over here at this bird watcher area. But anyways, now let's go ahead and get into some of the dialogue that we can get. Starting off with just simply, who are you? I'm Felton Reed, newly initiated in the Brotherhood of Steel. I saw what they did with the old observatory and figured I had to be a part of it. Okay, so now we know he's a new recruit to the Brotherhood of Steel. Let's go ahead and ask him why he's out here. I'm working towards becoming a scribe. It's a commitment to finding and documenting technology. I've collected a few pieces, but uh, unsure about any of them. I, I need to present something impressive to my brethren to prove myself. Scribe Valdis taught us that exceptional technology can often be found in objects with military or scientific applications. Do any of these pieces gathered in my camp seem like they'd impress my superiors? I understand. I'll be here a bit longer. Okay, so now this is where it gets pretty interesting. Felton wants our advice on what we think will impress the Brotherhood of Steel. Now he has to collect specifically tech items, and you can't just take him any kind of tech item. Like this one time, for example, I brought him an alien blaster, thinking, you know, he would be impressed because it's a freaking alien blaster, but no, nothing. Like I was thinking for sure I was gonna get some kind of response, like, whoa, far out, man, or where'd you find this or something, but no, nothing, seriously. And I brought a stealth boy over to him, and he didn't acknowledge it whatsoever either. Like, dude, come on, it's an alien blaster, and it's a freaking stealth boy. But for real though, on a serious note, it seems like he only registers junk items. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into the unique dialogue that you can get from this guy. So, as you can see here, I have two options available. So the first option is, yeah, I found something. And as most of you are probably already realizing, this is meaning it's just regular old tech. Not as valuable as the other option, which was, I've got something special for you. The problem is getting the special items to him. Like, as far as I was seeing, I wasn't seeing any of the special items. Like, the items that he told us to go look at were all just common ones. It was just like, hey, I found something. But if I brought back this military-grade tech, like, for instance, a military-grade circuit board, it would state that I found something special for you. And to find that, it involved fast traveling. So either me or someone else had to stay with Felton while we go and get some high-tech to give him. So it can be kind of a pain to do. 
And is it really worth it? As far as I've experienced, no, absolutely not. However, it does have some pretty interesting and unique dialogue that you can get, which that's pretty cool. But the reward from doing this, he gives you some compensation, like a bit of caps. And he also states how he's going back to Fort Atlas, how he doesn't like to stay away from it for too long. But the weird thing is, I went and searched Fort Atlas with multiple other players and he is not there whatsoever right now. Maybe this guy will be incorporated there sometime in the future. I'm not sure. It's unlikely, but hey, you never know. Alrighty, so now let me go ahead and show you all a bit of the dialogue that I managed to capture with Felton with these choices. So let's go ahead and start this off with one of the special things that we can give him. Let's go ahead and see what happens when we give him this sensor module. Wow, I... I've never seen one of these. What is it? As you can see, we can talk about it saying, careful, this sensor module has delicate, high precious instruments. Or we can say, sorry, I need to keep this. Let's go ahead and choose the first option. Scribe Valdez was looking for one of these just the other day. <laughs> I can't thank you enough for this. It's not much, but take this as compensation. I've got to pack up and get back to Fort Atlas soon. I don't like to stay away for too So yeah, after you give him an item, if you go to talk to him again, he'll just continue saying that he's going back to Fort Atlas. And speaking of that, didn't it sound kind of creepy when he said, I don't like to stay away for too long? I've got to pack up and get back to Fort Atlas soon. I don't like to stay away for too long. I don't know, could just be overthinking. Kind of sounded suspicious though. Okay, so anyways, let's go ahead and choose another special thing for him. And let's go with the military grade circuit board this time. Wow, I I've never seen one of these. What is it? As you can see, you'll get this option here describing it. This military grade circuit board likely came from some powerful weaponry. And here's what he says to that. Then I'm sure it will impress Knight Shin in his armory. Thank you for this. It's not much, but take this as compensation. I've got to pack up and get back to Fort Atlas soon. I don't like to stay away from... Did you find any impressive technology? Okay, so this next dialogue will also be from something special. We'll be giving them this time the high-powered magnet. Wow, I... I've never seen one of these. What is it? Our response is high-powered magnets like this are integral to medical imaging devices. After a fellow initiate was injured in training, we did discuss developing a medical bay at Fort Atlas. Thank you so much. It's not much, but take this as compensation. And here is what happens when we go to give him something that's just something, not something special. May I take a look? Uh, what's so impressive about this? We can respond by saying there are high-powered wireless components in this radio jammer. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Right. Now that will definitely be useful for long-range communications. <laughs> Thanks. Now this time the item was removed like normal, except we didn't get any compensation since we didn't give them something special. So yeah, that's the difference between them two. But yeah, hopefully this was something new to you. I'm out of here, everyone. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. If you found this enjoyable, by the way, I'm going to leave a friend reminder here at the end. Consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, though, everyone, remember to try to stay safe out there during these unusual times. Peace.